Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'd like to talk about algorithms and data structures. And if it's something you really need to learn as a web developer to get your first software engineering job, or if it's something you can skip. So since we're talking about algorithms and data structures, I'm going to assume that you have a firm grasp of coding fundamentals. And if you haven't mastered programming fundamentals, I would say first start with that, and algorithms should definitely come after you master those. If you don't have a firm grasp of programming fundamentals, it's going to be extremely overwhelming and difficult for you to move on to algorithms and data structures. You can learn what they are in theory, but to actually apply them in code, it's going to be very complicated. So what is an algorithm? I have my computer here in front of me and I looked up the definition for the word algorithm. It goes something like, a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by a computer. So by just reading this definition, it's a little bit tough to understand what they're talking about, especially to somebody new to computer science. So to understand what an algorithm is, I think it's very important to understand what a data structure is. A data structure is what it sounds like. It's a structured form of storing data. So what an algorithm is, is essentially a set of rules that you write, which apply themselves to a data structure. A simple algorithm could be an algorithm that takes a list of numbers and multiplies each number by two. Regardless of which list you pass to this algorithm, the output is always going to be that same list that came in, but with each number multiplied by two. If you're looking for your first software engineering job, it's going to be very beneficial for you to become good with algorithms and data structures. Typically, software engineering interviews do test for it. Being good with algorithms and data structures is going to separate you from the competition as a beginner, and it's actually going to keep impressing interviewers and employers as you move further in your career. I'm not aware of any big technology company that does not test for algorithms and data structures during their interview process. So if you're new to software engineering, there's something you should know about the hiring process. It's very different from any other hiring process you're used to. I was a recruiter once upon a time, and I even had jobs before that, um, during and before university. And when I was looking for a job, the way it usually went was something like this. I would send a ton of resumes out. I wouldn't hear back very often. But once I actually got a response to my resume, I would usually go to an interview and usually get the job. Now with software engineering, it's actually very different. It's pretty easy to get interviews. But the rest of the hiring process is very different. It's never just one interview where you go, you have a formal chat and you talk about your experience. And then a few days later, you hear that you got the job, you sign the offer and off you go. Within software engineering, there's usually at the very least two or three interviews. You typically have an introductory call followed by a technical interview. The technical interview will either test your data structure and algorithm knowledge with a coding challenge or the coding challenge will be more practical, like building a simple application, depending on what company you get. You may have one, two, or three technical interviews after that. There might be a whiteboarding interview where you walk through some sort of system design, or again, some sort of data structure and algorithm problem. You could see how there's a lot of room for error. Messing up at any one of these interviews could lead to you not getting the job. So because it is this hard to get a software development job, especially if it's your first software development job, I think it makes sense to maximize your chances. And you can do so by becoming proficient with algorithms and data structures. There's actually a great book I would recommend for beginners looking to get into algorithms and data structures. The book is called Grokking Algorithms. It uses metaphors and real world situations to explain the concepts in a very digestible manner. It's a pretty light read, it's not a very difficult book, it's probably one of my all-time favorites. The benefits of becoming good with algorithms and data structures is not going to end with you getting job offers or with you clearing interviews. A lot of developers out there are actually not very good with algorithms and data structures. The better you become at algorithms and data structures, the more you will stand out. While algorithms might seem hard to learn and data structures might seem hard to learn and you might be more tempted to learn something like a new web framework or a new database technology, just take one thing into account. While algorithms and data structures are harder to learn, and might even seem painful to learn in the beginning, things like web frameworks or database technologies are changing all the time. Something that's considered amazing and cutting edge this year is going to be considered legacy and nobody's even gonna talk about it in five years. Data structures and algorithms though are not changing. They've been around since the beginning. They're not going to change, they're not going anywhere. You're working in technology. Technology is an ever-changing field. Anything you work with is going to become obsolete at some point or it's going to change at some point, with the exception of data structures and algorithms. This is going to be the one constant that you can rely on being consistent throughout your career as a software engineer. You might encounter these developers in the real world. They might try to convince you that algorithms are not important or you don't need to know data structures as a software developer. My advice would be not to listen to them, First, make sure that you have your programming fundamentals down, then slowly ease into data structures and algorithms. I would suggest starting with a book. Grokking Algorithms is a fantastic first book. 
It will teach you what the whole algorithm conversation is even about, what you're trying to achieve. It's beginner friendly, it's a light read, and it's overall a high quality book. Software development is a highly competitive field. Do yourself a favor and learn this highly sought after skill. And just quickly going back to those developers that claim that algorithms are not important. So I have a tweet here by Max Howell, which is the creator of Homebrew. If you've ever used a Macintosh in a development environment, you'll know what that is. It's just a, a tool that installs things for you, essentially. It says, Google, 90% of our engineers use the software you wrote, Homebrew, but you can't invert a binary tree on a whiteboard. So F off. This is a tweet that Max Howell put out after being rejected for an engineering position at Google. I'm sure Max Howell is a great developer. He made a tool that a lot of developers use, but it's also an example that he failed to get a job because of his lack of algorithm knowledge. There are plenty of developers with much less experience than him that would have aced that interview. The point I'm trying to make is that there's really no way around it. So really become good at it while you're starting out. That way you'll have the solid foundation that stays with you throughout your career and you won't run into situations like the one Max Howell ran into. So that'll be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time.